I'll show you how to use Studio Presets, a feature that allows you to save and load different workspace configurations, which you can then easily swap between. We're starting with our default layout here, but let's say we wanted a workspace that focused more on pre-flight and preparation for export. We might actually drag this panel group out entirely and remove it from the screen. Then from the window menu, we might hide the assets and the stock panels on the left, then show the pre-flight panel. This gives us quite a lean workspace just to focus on our layout issues highlighted by pre-flight. We can save this as a custom workspace by going to Window, Studio, Add Preset. We'll call this pre-flight and click OK or use the return key on the keyboard. Now let's reset to the default layout by going to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. Next, we might create a workspace more tailored towards reference elements, like hyperlinks and table of contents. We will go to Window, References, and enable each reference panel one by one. So we have Anchors, Fields, Hyperlinks, Index, Notes, and Table of Contents. We will also hide the Assets and Stock Panels, like we did for our last workspace setup, which frees up some space on the left-hand studio. Now let's move over to the panels on each panel group that we want to show by default. Then we will save this preset as References. We'll reset the workspace to its default layout once again. But let's actually save this as a preset too and call it Default. Now to switch presets, we can quickly go to Window, Studio, and choose our desired preset. To delete or rename presets, we can go to Window, Studio, Manage Studio Presets. To rename a preset, just select it and click Rename. We can also apply each preset from this dialog as well, which helps when evaluating presets before perhaps deleting them. So I will choose References and click Delete here, then confirm I want to delete it. And that was a quick video on how to create, save, and manage custom workspace layouts. Thank you for watching.